do we have here? A broken butler puppet. Now, I seem to remember someone on the second floor. Think it belongs to him? We gotta ask what happened sometime. Now's good. You're back! And you found... Oh, dear. Pulcinella. They really did a number on you. Pulcinella was proof that puppets possess true courage. I will not rest until I have revived him. But there will be ample time for that. First, I must thank you for a truly heroic piece of work. The factory is ours again. The puppets are going to be in really bad shape after this. Let us return to the hotel and rest while we can. I cannot shake the thought of that puppet army. What they meant to do. The cathedral is filled with refugees. People who thought they were safe. But as for the future to solve, maintenance must come first. See you at Hotel Krat. Arrivederci. I can but that's for the I can but that's for the future. Welcome to Hotel Prat. Welcome. Ah, if it isn't my savior. Glad to see you made it back in one piece, my friend. Buongiorno, and welcome to the house of Vanini. I am Master Vanini's Major Domo. Pelcinella, at your service, sir. The House of Vanini carries only the finest in luxury merchandise. I believe you'll find all items to be both superior quality and distinguished provenance. I am certain you will be able to find something that suits you, sir. At the House of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. my boy. My savior, yes, that's the word. You took back the factory and I cannot thank you enough. Without the factory, no more new puppets. The army has run out of recruits. My friend, you saved, well, all of us. Ah, but listen to me going on and on about my concerns and I don't believe I've even introduced myself. Signor Lorenzini Venigni. Gentlemen, bon vivant, and... At the moment, utterly at your service, my friend. If the name Venigni rings no bells, perhaps you've heard of Kratz, Prince of High Society. That is because they are one and the same. Just two of the many names I've collected in my three decades here on Earth. While I sincerely believe meeting Venigni is its own reward, I have not rewarded you in the more uh, traditional manner. Please, take this. 
My newest prototype. It'll be safe with you. It's a grinder stone that keeps granting special attributes to the grinder. I hope you'll put it to good use. Then my eyes do not deceive me. I never imagined I'd actually see it again, and in the flesh, so to speak. I just designed it, set it aside, and never got back to it. Genius and the claim can keep one quite preoccupied, I'm afraid. You are really interested in the arm, I see. Then, my friend, you shall have it. It just needs a few mechanical adjustments to fit your, um, particular needs. And frankly, this design is almost child's play to me now, so let's start by making it a bit stronger, shall we? I will also add what we brilliant inventors call modularity. That means it will be much easier to improve and repair since you'll be able to use commonly found parts. You might say this arm's new abilities are... Uh, Legion! <laughs> no? Too much? It was too much. I always welcome friends. May I be of service? <laughs> of course you're curious. Pulcinella has been restored, thanks to you. In a small way. Mostly it was me, but, uh, you know, genius never rests. Except for beauty rest. <laughs> Pulcinella isn't just my butler. He's my family. The only one I have left, really. I won't forget what you've done for us. If you ever need anything, or find yourself in a spot of trouble, Call on your friend Venigni. I always welcome friend. No one, not even I, know what started the puppet frenzy. Why? That day of all days... Ah, it was horrible. A violent rampage of murder and mayhem that is seared into my memory for all time. And it was never supposed to happen again. I made sure of it. Designed a few special parts to ensure they'd remain loyal. Puppet armies do not arise by chance. There was intent behind this. I don't want to leap to conclusions, but... The only one I know with that kind of power is the King of Puppets himself. I... We... Need to learn how this happened. Amatsa, that is one slick prototype. You think it's a tram for crickets? Amatsa, you think it's Felicitous salutations, my friends. My name is Signor Lorenzini Venigni. No doubt my reputation precedes me. I come to you with only the most peaceful intentions, and as a true friend of craft. Behold! Venini Warp, where we will honor the city of Kras' history while forging her brilliant future. When I broke ground on this place, we broke ground, I certainly didn't do it all personally. This was a simply empty space, a blank canvas. But in the hands of a maestro, it became a work of art. All my life, from boyhood to this very day, I have been derided for my, let's say, single-minded focus on a lifelong obsession with building animated automatic autonomous automata. But today, just look before you. Venini Works is ready to start building the future. Kratz's golden era is waiting to be built. A dream of the future we can only create together. Help me make this future come true. Join us, for this moment in history will happen only once. Join Venini, your friend for life.
I know my way around. have no idea. Thanks for keeping. Remember, I didn't design every puppet in Krat. It is not surprising that some puppets broke away from the Grand Covenant. I've no idea how many. I remember a few Ergo puppets behaving according to their own volition before the Frenzy. That wasn't our intention. They were never designed to act that way. But if a puppet starts acting on its own, does that mean the puppet has free will? Or is someone else controlling the puppet?
Could they be from Moonlight Town? Whoa, did puppets do this? <laughs> <laughs> 